How's it going everyone? Welcome to another ARC bonus and today I'm making this video uh, out of some inquiries I received in comments in a previous Season 3 video uh, about events. How to enable them, how to disable them, uh, does wildcard control the events, how can you do them manually, can you get everything that wildcard gives you. Uh, and so we're going to cover... Um, those aspects today starting with um a little information about the events so let's go ahead and switch over to the powerpoint that i made for y'all let's see here play capture on perfect Alrighty. So there are several event types, three different uh, in my personal opinion. The functioning, partially functioning, and disabled. The functioning, you get everything or most everything uh, in an event. Partially functioning, as it sounds, the event's on, it's functioning, but you only get some stuff. Disabled, you only get creature colors. And the current events that fall in these categories Nothing is functioning because of the development of Survival Ascended. Partially functioning, again, nothing because of Survival Ascended. And the disabled is pretty much every single event. Halloween, Easter, Archaeology, Extinction Chronicles, Summer Bash, Valentine's Day, Birthday, Wonderland, and um, Thanksgiving. All of that are, all of those are disabled events. But you can get some things from those. You can put down a cooking pot and still get a few things. Like the anniversary, I was able to put down, I was able to activate, activate bleh, that event, get the party dodos to spawn in, and uh, kill them, get their cake slices, and use them to craft up chibis and skins and all that stuff. But when it comes to things like the Halloween, there's no guarantee for the Scarecrows, no guarantee for Pumpkins. Um, Winter Wonderland, there's no guarantee for Coal and Mistletoe. Uh, Raptor Claws, uh, the Halloween, the Dodo Rex, Dodo Wyvern, there's no guarantee for those. It's all kind of a jumble. Um, so at the moment those are all those are all disabled you could put the arc anniversary under the partially functioning um but uh wild card is not supporting events at the time uh each event it's kind of unique uh so if there is a specific creature it could spawn in it may it may not um yeah, it, it's kind of all over the place at the moment. But, how do you turn on an event? Well, this is how you do it. Uh, or these are the event codes, and then I'll walk you through how to do it on Steam. Um, yeah, because again, I play Arc through Steam. That's how I do it. And these are the codes that I use to activate these events. Uh, most of these codes are very case sensitive. Um, sometimes you can capitalize some things or put them in lower case um, and it'll work. Uh, I find it works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. But for the most part, this is what works. So make sure you do not have any spaces between these because it will not work. Um, I've played around with it and I've seen how case sensitive they are when it comes to capitalizing things and entering, you know, it with lowercase, like the summer code at the top. I've entered it with a capital S, entered it with a lower S. In my experience, both work. Um, but, uh, yeah, these are just the standard codes you will enter into your Steam properties, which I will show you how to do in just a minute. Um, 
But do you know that this, the content of this video likely will not carry over to Survival Ascended. Survival Ascended could have completely different parameters. Um, so if you start playing Survival Ascended and see this video and try to enter this and type in the comments, what the heck, dude? You said this is supposed to work. Why is it not working? It's because you're playing a completely different video game. Survival Ascended is an upgraded version of Survival Evolved and because it's Unreal Engine 5, it's gonna have different parameters. So this likely, I personally think this is, all these codes are not gonna work on Survival Ascended. I think it may have different codes. I think they may not even do events on Survival Ascended. Um, I mean, you could try it, but there's no guarantee. So, anyone who types in the comments, what the heck, man, you said this was supposed to work. Yeah, I'm saying it works for Survival Evolve. So, if you're playing Survival Evolved, this should work. If you're not playing Survival Evolved, likely will not work. Um, but, uh, how do you disable event if you have, if you activate an event, had your fun and you're bored with it and you're ready for something else this is how you disable an event if you want to go back to regular stuff and this is why i recommend you do if you want to switch from one event to the other active event equals none that will turn off the event destroy wild dinos that will get rid of all the event creatures wait a few minutes for vanilla respawns to begin after all three of those steps have been completed, you can go back into your uh, Steam property parameters, enter a new event code, and then start up that event. And when you're done with it, do this. Uh, that's how I find it being pretty dang effective. Um, so hopefully that works for y'all. But for the Steam parameters, here is... Um, what I would do for your Steam parameters. Uh, you go to, when well, you open up Steam, uh, you go to properties, click on that, and you see while here, it says active event, none. That's because I've disabled the birthday event. The anniversary event, it's gone. Um, but you enter one of those codes down here, hit enter, so you enter a code, hit enter, close that out, that saves it. So you open it back up, it's saved. It'll, it'll be like, okay, so you want birthday or you want fear evolved or something like that. It'll save it. And then you launch your game. Do a dino wipe when you launch your game uh, as a double insurance. I recommend that. Some people don't do that. I personally recommend doing a dino wipe um, so when things start to respawn you'll get event creatures uh, spawning in as well um, but yeah that pretty much covers it this is a pretty short video there's not much to it um, uh, I hope this answers all your questions uh, I do want to say if you don't play arc through steam unfortunately I do not have experience with uh oh uh i will admit i do not have experience with console i do have a ps5 but i do not play arc on a ps5 um i usually just play games on the ps5 i'll play stuff like i'm really into the horror genre so i'll play things like um oh uh until dawn and outlast and stuff like that um yeah, I usually, I usually I don't do those on the channel because I can never hook up my PS5 uh, and get a good quality video. I tried doing that; it fails me every time, and yeah, it it just doesn't work out. But so yeah, sorry PS5, sorry Xbox, sorry uh, people who do not play Arc through Steam. Uh, I cannot answer your questions, but. 
but um, there are a lot of other videos out there that could. Uh, so you just go on YouTube and look up videos for how to do it on PlayStation, how to do it on Xbox. Um, and yeah, you should come across videos that help you out just fine. So anyway, I hope you guys, uh, I hope this video helps you out. If you, if it does smash that like button, be sure to subscribe. Every subscription helps me out a lot and yeah, I will see you guys next time.